It was a beautiful performance. Um, uh, it brought to life the moods of some of the most excellent Pakistani feminist poetry from the 1970s and later. Um, and we're very proud of Janaki Patrick and her crew of Kathak dancers and very grateful to them for bringing us this performance. But the, the poem that, that Janaki asked me to think about especially is called Anti-Clockwise and it's the one about the body parts, even if my eyes are destroyed, even if my nose is destroyed. And it rests on partly on being a kind of, of parody or takeoff on a genre which goes way back, it goes in Indic terms back into Sanskrit. And it, interestingly, it, in that tradition, it's called nakshik varnan, literally toenail head, or toenail crown of head description. And the beloved is described, or a handsome prince is described, going right up the body, starting with their beautiful feet and their beautiful ankles and so forth, and ending up with their, their beautiful face and their beautiful hair. Um, in the Islamic side, in the Persian side, and the Urdu side, it's called sarapa. Sar is head and pa is foot. So head to foot. So either way you describe it, it's a, it's a really important genre. And it's definitely sequential. That's one thing that you can say about it. Sometimes it's quite erotic. When you get to the middle of the body, you have plenty of scope of describing the beloved's wonderful erotic charms. But other times, <laughs> other times you can just jump discreetly over and say they're indescribable. This is very, very great poetry that's not just, it's not just limited to Pakistan. It's not just limited to India. It is about womanhood and humanhood. It's really, this, these poems are just glorious and they're really universal, talking about the universe and spirituality, really. I thought I had no right. I'm not, how, how can I criticize? I mean, uh, my, my ethnicity is such that I didn't feel I had the right to be pointing at those whom we're always putting down uh, in, in the European, Anglo-European. So, uh, and I thought, uh, and what right particularly, because we haven't done anything, we still haven't done anything about it, but the problems are still there, the poetry is still great, so I went ahead. But um, I have many productions lined up here, <laughs> ready for <laughs> several lifetimes, I'm not sure. But um, certainly feminism is, needs a, a very loud voice. I think that it's, a, it's like a first of its kind that has been done, uh, particularly in New York. This is the first time that uh, South Asian poetry has been uh, put into music and into dance, and the dancers were fabulous. It was really, it was enlightening, it was wonderful. <laughs>